Hello again. I'm hoping that you've now got your puzzling brain in gear. We're going to do two more puzzles. So before we move on, do you want to go and get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil? OK, so let's have a look at our first puzzle for today. This is the first puzzle for today. It says a square triangle. It's a bit strange, isn't it? A square triangle. This is a problem for our older puzzlers. That's you. It may seem very peculiar to you, but I've just drawn a triangle where all the angles are square. No, I don't mean right angles or 90 degrees. That's impossible. What I do mean is that each angle measured in degrees is a square number. Can you tell me how many degrees in each, each of the angles is? I'm giving you a clue here. There are three angles in a triangle. When you add them together, they come to 180 degrees. So the total of the three angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. And I think you might need to remember what a square number is. OK, so you can pause the video in a minute to go and find out what a square number is if you can't remember. And then which three square numbers can I add up together to make my triangle? Remember. The tri angles inside the triangle add up to 180 degrees. Pause the video and have a good think. OK, so there's lots of thinking to do here. We needed to know the square numbers. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16 and so on. And then we had to choose three of these numbers here, whoops, three of these numbers here that add up to make 180. So three numbers there add up to make 180. Did you find them? Let's have a look. The answer is 16 and 64 add 100 makes 180. Really well done if you got that. That was a little bit tricky, that one. Let's look at our next one. Here's our next puzzle. Lots of numbers inside some balloons here. And it says, if a number in one of the balloons is included in the answer to the three statements, it will fly away. And here are the three statements. First of all, balloons with a multiple of nine. So if one of these numbers is a multiple of nine, the balloon will fly away. Square number balloons. So one of these numbers is a square number. It will fly away. And prime number balloons. I think that's one we need to know now. What is a prime number? Oh dear, that's terrible. Let's try that one again. We're looking for a prime number balloon. OK, so if it's a multiple of nine, or if it's a square number, or if it's a prime number, the balloons will all blow away. So which balloon is left behind? So pause that video and start thinking. OK, are you ready for the answer? Here we go. OK, balloons with a multiple of nine and that was 18, 45, 54, 63 and 99. Square number balloons, 6, 4, 16, 25 and 64. Prime number balloons, 3, 7, 13 and 17, which means that the only number that was left was 26. Really well done if you got that. One of the things that you might want to do over the next few weeks is to really learn your square numbers and your prime numbers because, again, they're going to be so important for you when you're in year six next year. So that's it for today. But don't forget, it's really important to learn your square numbers and your prime numbers. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow.